behind me is a 2014 Renault Twizy and this is my first time experience to the Twizy up close and in real life. Uh, on a recent trip to Cannes and Monaco I noticed a lot of delivery drivers were using the Twizy to get around the small French narrow streets and now we're here in Britain I thought I'd quickly go show you guys this while I've got one in front of me. So stay tuned for this video. So first off you can see it's quite small, almost quadricycle in size. Anybody doesn't know the Twizy is fully electric. And then up front here we've got your charger. Typical British three pin there. And it takes about three and a half hours to get full charge. And you just get over about 40 miles in a full tank, a full range, uh, once it's charged up. And it costs about a pound to get a full charge in this Twizy, so you get a pound for about 40 miles. As you can see, this particular model doesn't have doors for any thrills or excitement, so you're exposed to the elements. We do have your little Renault hubcaps, one wiper blade, and we've got two seating, but it's one in front, one in back. We've got lockable storage up the back here, with the key, put the driver's key in. we go in there so you could lock your goods if you're at the shop. Round the back, there's no <laughs> boot to speak of, but we do have central brake light indicators, reverse, big Renault badge. Kind of looks like it's got a blue hue, like blue chromed out look. Twizy has a sticker there, and your registration and all your exposed suspension on that at the side. If you live in a nice hot climate, <laughs> like the south of France, this would be ideal. Just get in and out, all wash. Down, you can hose it all down, little drain holes. Like so, jump in. We've got your drive, neutral and reverse hazards. We've got a little bit of storage up here. A little bit of lockable storage. On the right hand side, you can get some more valuable in there so nobody can just break in. So you've got the key in the ignition. thing, get a little green end for go and then you can push D for drive and that means the cars. So quite basic controls up front, we've got your D for drive, N for neutral, R for reverse, you've got your hazards, indicators on the left with your lights controls on the side there, wiper blades, like so. And that's about it. A little quadricycle experience. You do get options for a speaker for your radio. I think you can get a glass roof as well. And doors are an optional extra as well. It's quite a unique driving experience. So the Renault tries they can reach just about 50 miles per hour, 51 miles per hour, so you can't actually reach to 60. So one of the benefits of owning this is you've got free road tax, you can get around town quite cheaply if you're plugging it in at home. You can lease the batteries for £45 a month and that just gives you the peace of mind that if something goes wrong, Renault will look after it. Whereas you can buy it outright if you just want to own the car, but any issues if the battery is owned, is going to be on you. So that's something to consider. Uh, the 2 plus 2 driving experience is almost... I've never been in a vehicle like this before, so it's quite quirky. If you're out and about, and as I said, there are no doors. You need to get used to that. If you're a hot climate or somewhere during sun in Britain, you'd enjoy that. But probably here in November in England, it's going to be pretty chilly. And you can only imagine up in Scotland how wet and cold, miserable it would be <laughs> to get all exposed and soaked on your way to work or out to the shops. So overall, if you're looking for a low emission or zero emission vehicle, something that's cheap to drive, cheap to insure, cheap to run, it's also an other option for you. Uh, the only negatives I can really see are it's not like a tra traditional car, so it's probably not going to be the safest with regard to crash regulations. You've not got security or <laughs> exposed to the elements with regards to not having doors. You do get a seatbelt, at least. Uh, but yeah, so that's just something to consider. Maybe an ideal city roundabout or something. I well, hope you guys enjoyed this quick walk around of the Renault Twizy. Thanks very much for watching. Ciao!